Well, how do that, chums? And doff my cap. It is I, Captain Stephen, playing Dragon's Dogma. And it looks like we've managed to trigger the event that I was hoping to trigger. The quest that I have never done in any of my playthroughs. So this is rescuing the Queen from the Mance. Okay, awesome. So that's not the actual name of the quest. The quest in itself is called the Duchess in Distress Infiltrate the Mance. So that's exactly what we're doing in today's episode. Let's hit this one up. Righto, so lovely Lady Maribel there gave me myself a disguise. Look at that lovely disguise. We've got ourselves a disguise of a soldier's uniform. And we get to keep that as part of the mission request. So lovely, awesome. I've seen people walking around it as, as like their pawns and stuff before. I'm like, how'd they do that? Now I know. Brilliant, so I've already got a teleport human crystal up at the actual sort of, um, there's like a fountain of youth there, some sort of pool where you get all your health back. It's quite nice. So yeah, there's a lot of, quests where people want to be taken to that sort of like pool so yeah there we are uh, some sort of spring anyhow I've, I've got a waypoint there i've got to fight a load of dire wolves so i sped this up so you can see me murder kate a load of freaking dogs take that you snarling beasts yes boom dead deadly dead yeah they done me a bit of damage so i had to go back over a bit of sort of strength there anyhow now it's time to adorn the actual disguise so here we go it's like being in an episode of scooby-doo there we go let's stick that on excellent nice i'm still a magical archer which is great fantabadozy and yeah i think you can wear this suit of armor in any sort of class of course you would otherwise it restrict you from doing a certain mission wouldn't it so yeah i could put this on my little um demon child girl the only thing is and you won't see her face because of the actual helmet which is a bit of a shame but yeah let's head on in it's a shame there isn't an option so you always display without a helmet on i know they do that in the monster hunter game so it would be quite nice to have that inside of dragon dogma wouldn't it anyhow let's see if the disguise works and let's see if they let me in to their castle i would have thought they would have looked at my freaking weapons and thought Ooh, that's not normal sort of rep and way for a special air recruit. But let's head on over and let's talk to the actual guard and see if the disguise has fornicated him. I'd imagine it has. Hello there. Yes, Sir Whitby. Yes, let me in, Sir Whitby. It would be very nice to be able to gauge and enter into your castle. Thanking you. Nice one. There we go. Looks like it worked, people. It worked a charm. And we have entered into the manse. Right, okay, so this is the King's Manse, and I must say, it's not very finely decorated, is it, for a manse? I was expecting it to be like a mansion, I was expecting some, you know, chaise longs and some lovely sofas, and maybe even a plasma TV, but no, none of that stuff heralds this castle, no, not at all. Right, okay, well, it looks like the map is all squiffy, and sort of like um, fogged out, so we're going to have to try and make our way through here. Now, this is the first time I've ever been here, people, so yeah, if you're screaming at your screens at the moment, going, no! go that way there's a freaking chest down that way there probably is and i've probably missed a ton of stuff inside of this month to be honest because i figured well i keep going and before we go down or up any stairs that show that they're taking me away from the map um and then yeah i end up actually finding her which <laughs> was by sheer freaking chance so yeah i was going to go down there and i thought no Let's carry on. Let's go up this one. And then we'll double back on ourselves, is what I was thinking. I was thinking she'd be in the last room I look in. My luck is always that way. It's never that the first room I go in, I actually find what I'm looking for. Never. However, that happens inside of this video. So here we go. I've opened up the door. Head into here. Lovely jubbly. We've got a lovely bed. And there she is. In the nicest room in the castle. I sped up the cutscenes because Capcom can be a little bit shite on the cutscenes and giving some flags and things. And yes. So if there are cutscenes, I've sped them up and I've also made them into sketch mode. And I do that towards the end of this video. But now I figure, shite, well, there's a lot of stuff in here that I probably haven't looted. Let's start looting. Probably a little bit late into this quest to start looting. So there's two staircases there. I'm hoping that they adjoin themselves to one another. And in fact, indeed, you do, do they do anyhow let's head on through here and let's take the queenie with us so she is now in following so i don't think i'll be able to teleport out of here i think this is like when you rescue tomlin from the actual dungeons that you can't just use your fairy stone if you do you, yeah it's not good you have to reload but here we go so let's just do this the way that you're supposed to do it and protect her from these guards now they are going to target her rather than you as much i mean they still go for you but they they want to kill her if they kill her your quest is failed so make sure you stand in between 
her and the guards at all times. So there we go. You get quite a lot of XP for each one of these kills, that has to be said as well. So that's pretty nice. So let's go and give them no quarter, they're shouting. Right, well, I'm going to return you the same favour, my friend. There you go. Dead. Yes, hung, drawn and quartered. Right, there we go. Let's uh, get some ancient scrolls from here. So I am looting as I go. There's a fair bit to loot and there's chests and boxes hidden away in corners of rooms. There's one over there. I'm going to open that one in a moment. I've spotted it with my beady little eyes. So let's open up the box and let's see what we get. Okay, it's just some potion. Nothing major as yet, people. But there are there is quite a nice armour set to be had here, like red leather pants and a few other red leathery items. So yeah, there seems to be a complete set, or, or near enough a complete set. Right, so let's head on down. No, you're okay, princess. I thought she just got scuppered then. I thought she got slapped in the face with something sharp. But no, she seems to be well. She seems to be faring good. Let's just carry on down this staircase. And you can see here that these rooms actually join up to one another. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Well, you don't seem to be too bothered about either of us. All right, well, he's, he's probably got some other prior engagement. He's looking for a completely different prisoner. Maybe this disguise is too good. I think at this point I could probably take the disguise off. I mean, they all seem to be coming at me anyway. So, yeah, what's taking your sweet-ass time? Come on, love. Right, okay, she spotted a different way out. She says, don't use the main gate. There was three guys. There was three guys on the main gate. I'm sure I could take them. But no, we're going this way. All right, fine. Um, but then you do find out why we go this way. It seems that all of her friends are actually located at the back door and they're going to whisk her away. She mentions her own land where she heralds from. I forgot to take mental note of it, but it's kind of nice that she mentions that there's a further away land. Now, if Dragon's Dogma 2 ever does come into fruition, perhaps they could place in this land that this queen was ferried off to, which would be quite a nice little expansion to the actual Grand Sis and the world that we know and come to love in Dragon's Dogma. So yeah, I suppose that could be a little mystery. Any nod, couldn't it? Now, also on Netflix, there is also Dragon's Dogma the anime, and yes, that is set inside the Dragon's Dogma verse. But I don't hear them mention Grancis, and the actual lands that they're in don't look all too familiar to Grancis. So, again, they've got a lot that they can draw from if they do make a Dragon's Dogma 2. I don't think she's going to be able to make that jump, right? So, I'm going to have to carry her across. Fun times. Okay, well placed jump, I guess. Oh great, there's bats coming at us, my little princess. And there's freaking rats. Let me get rid of these rats for you. Die rats. No, they're still alive. Take that, rats. Heck yes, a blade to the face to the rats. Now let's jump across. Fudge, I completely balls that up. Right, you're going to get wet, little princess. And there's a bat after us. Bat? Oh no, it's going to munch your freaking ears. Right, let's put you over here. And I need to dispatch the bat. Take this bat, you hellhound. Right, okay, brilliant. And we'll pick the princess up again. Well, we'll try our best to. Right, come on, love. Let's do this jump a second time. Okay, here we go. I just spotted there's a freaking ladder there, isn't there? Ah, duh. Yeah, okay, well, you can tell this is pre-recorded. I'm talking over the top of it. I didn't spot that freaking ladder that's just there. We could have just gone up there to save this final jump, which was of complete git that got me light twice. Okay, well, we seem to be fine now. Lovely, I can put you back down. There you are. Now, I'm fairly sure you can make it up here in your heels, can't you, my friend? Okay, no. Um, she seems to be... Oh, no, she is coming. Fantastic. But I don't think she wants to get wet, does she? She doesn't want to go in that puddle. Right, well, let's pick you back up then, and I'll take you through the waters. Here you go, lovely. And, uh, yeah, just round here, over this way, through here. Yeah, don't worry about my shoes and my footwear. This is just a disguise that I've borrowed from your lovely friend, so I don't care if it smells like shit and toffee. Right, okay, well, this bridge doesn't look all too sturdy, does it? Uh, right, well, let's take care of these guys before they knacker the bridge. Okay, well, I think I just knackered the bridge with all them arrows. I think it's gonna... Yes, it's freaking broke. Yeah, the bridge came down. Yeah, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Right, okay. Um, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> and I haven't got many healing things with me. I just thought this would be a simple in and out, people. You know, like in um, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, and that's probably not the best the best example to give. But they, well, they went through sewers and then they met these freaking gods that nearly done them. Yeah, I should have brought some healing things, thinking about it, shouldn't I? Anyhow, uh, we're just going to eat some bushes and we're going to eat this green liquid that looks like poison because why the fudge not? Because it gives you health, apparently. Lovely. Take this, you. Yes. Oh, fudge and heck. Someone just launched a load of arrows and nearly done her. Take that, you freaking roused about. There's one more person firing arrows into the back of my freaking head. Yeah, you are a git. Done. I think we're good. 
she seems to have stopped screaming at least. Um, she doesn't look too healthy and she's saying that she's cold. Right, well there seems to be a treasure chest over here. We'll put it by the chest and I'm going to open said box. There you go. Stay on dry land, love. Right, awesome. Let's pick this up. What have we got? Okay, nothing great. At least that though, that softener, is good to stop you from getting petrified and turning to stone. There doesn't seem to be any gargoyles here or anything that can do that, so... Uh, oh well. Nice if we do come across a cockatrice. Come on in, lady. We've got to climb this ladder. Heck yes, I think we took on a cockatrice in the last episode, though. Yeah, when I was live. Yes, for my Christmas special that was an hour and a half. If you haven't watched that, please do. Freaking awesome episode that was. We went to Blue Moon Tower twice. We took out the Griffin. We took out Solomon. We fought a freaking cockatrice. It got heavy in that episode. Heck yes, it did. Brilliant. Loads of action in this game, people. And um, I'm bigging this up because it, it deserves to be bigged up. It's actually a really good game. Despite some of the flat textures and its look, it is a PlayStation 3 game. So you've got to give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a, I don't know, wide berth when it comes to the criticism because it's an old game. It's 10 years old. It's going to show signs of age, but it's fantastic still. You know, Skyrim is 10 years old. That's also a fantastic game. But I actually like this more than Skyrim. It's more action filled, you know, and and less buggy. I mean, let's face it, Skyrim was riddled with freaking bugs. I mean, you could just walk up to a wall with a, a bucket against your chest and teleport through the wall, couldn't you? So there's, there was that. Yeah, anyhow, let's go through here. And uh, yeah, let's just press on on. I mean, I've never done this level before, so you're going to see me do a bit of backtracking. Oh no, it's another freaking jump quest. Is there is there a ladder at the opposite side, though? I don't know. Mister, got her this time, right? Come on. Here we go. That ladder's there just in case I fall in the freaking drink, isn't it? And we made it. We've done the two jumps and we're over. Ah, oh, there's a guard. I will dispatch up the guard. I think he's going... I think he was relieving himself against those crates. Well, he's now definitely relieved of life. Awesome. And I'm looking to see whether I can actually heal the princess. Because she has lost a bit of health. I'm a little bit worried about her. And I'm a bit worried that I might fail this mission. If we come across a massive horde of bad guys. Right, let's train my arrows. Oh, there's my chums. Brilliant. Well, this made things a little easier then. Ah, uh, there's arrows flying about down here. Got to be a bit careful. I think there's a chest behind here. Yes, there is. And it's a decent looking chest. And we've got ourselves some nice daggers. Fantastic. Right, well, let's take these guys out of distance. See, if my, since I am a magical archer. Yeah, I could change out of this armor. You're probably saying, Captain Steve, you can change out of your armor. Change out of your armor. Probably screaming that at the screens right now in sheer frustration. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just going to keep with the armor. I quite like it. I might even upgrade this stuff and keep wearing it forever. It's lovely. It uh, does smell of the last occupant, though, it has to be said. Take that, you! Oh, my days! He was about to stick a freaking pickaxe in the good lady's head. Only just saved her from freaking sudden death. I'm fairly sure that would have taken her out. Okay, right. Well, let's take this guy out at distance as well. Keep your arrows to yourself, my friend. There seems to be a wizard up there as well. Take that, magic doer. Okay, I think I just hit him with one arrow. Now I'm just hitting brickwork. Right, let's climb up there and let's do him. Right, take this, you, magical man. You're dead. Heck, yes, you are. Doesn't seem to be a chest over this side or that side. I can see one that I might be able to jump across even if I do go down the middle stretch. So I'm just going to go straight down the middle stretch. I think that's the way to go, looking at this actual structure. And if I was to design a game, heck, yes, awesome. So yeah, no big chests up there, but there is one up there that I can spy with my beady little eye. I can't see anything else going on. But there is some fog over that way. There could have been another chest. I may have missed something. Yeah, you're probably going to be putting stuff in comments saying, Captain Steve, you just missed the best chest inside of this game. Yeah, I think that might be up in the other corner that I sort of neglected there, up where the wizard was. I mean, that magician must have been protecting something of all. Anyhow, let's put her down. Let's climb on up this ladder, and uh, the other chest is over there. I think I can get that one, but I'm thinking there might have been one to the left of me. Yeah, because there does seem to be a little bit of fog there. Okay, well, let's uh, jump on it over to here. Hopefully she's not going to try and follow, and I'll grab that chest over there. Let's do that. Lovely, double jump. I don't know whether we need double jump to pull that off, but there we are. And we've got a summary rosa or something. Freaking lovely. Nice. And let's head through here by the straw. Okay, head down here. And hopefully there's not in many more bad guys. Hopefully this is the final leg. Uh, it, actually, it doesn't look like it is. I think we're going to be pressed with bad guys. In fact, one of my pawns just said there's too many of them. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, uh, there's a chest here, though. Nice. Let's get that before anybody turns up to murder us. Red over knees. Okay, well, they seem to be bloody heavy. Yeah, I'm now over so I'm Holy fudge! Okay, that's what they're on about. Okay, cool. 
Well, if I press forwards, hopefully all my men will go out there and, and take on all these bad guys. There's one cane can do this rain of arrows that just takes out the whole freaking room, and he's just done it. Brilliant. Awesome. They're all murdered. Okay. Well, this is a bit different. I don't think I've seen that asset for before. Just littered with freaking medicines. Nice. We could have done with those at the start of the mission. Okay, cool. Let's raid this. What do we got? Oh, I'm completely overcumbered now, so I need to do some inventory management. Well, there you go. I've sped up the footage of me shuffling the stuff around and giving them bits and bobs to pretty much the rest of my crew. So yeah, hopefully when we get back to the inn, I can screw all of that away for safekeeping. There's quite a lot to be had in this manse. And yeah, there's probably things I even missed. So there we are. Well worth doing this mission. Okay, this looks like another fragile bridge. It's saying we should take our time and go one at a time, but then they all just freaking follow me anyway, regardless of what they just said. Which made no freaking sense to me whatsoever. Lovely. And uh, there seems to be a ladder there, just in case it does collapse. I don't think it's there for any other reason. I think I saw a chest, though, so I'm just going to go down and raid that quickly and see what we get. Oh, wool cloth. Okay, I guess if you get soaked, you can just dry yourself off with that. At least one of your characters can, anyway. There's no other doors down here, is there? I don't think there is. No. I don't think I've missed anything of what? Okay, right, fine. We're going to press on up and we're going to press on out and hopefully complete this mission. I can't imagine there's many more men in the manse's basement. I mean, they should be upstairs protecting the ladies' chamber. They shouldn't be down here underground just... I don't know what they'd be doing. Just... Oh, snakeskin purse? Oh, we had, we had to get one of those for a previous mission, which I found in a river. Okay, fine. Well, that was pretty eye-opening. So I guess you can get it in the manse if you can't find it anywhere else. There you go, people, if you haven't already done that mission. However, I think it may have cancelled itself off at this stage. Because, yeah, if you accept that mission for the cockatrice, it does say, you know, you might not be coming back to Grancis for some time. So who knows? I don't know. But, yeah, I, it's a snakeskin purse. So here you go. Here's the cutscene that I've had to sort of make it into sketch mode and speed it up for fear of Capcom's sort of annoyance and slapping their stamp on stuff and saying, no, it's ours, ours, mine, dang it. I mean, it's a cutscene that features my character, so who knows? You know, I, I might have got away with it, but instead I've just sped it up. And basically, she's heading off to her own, well, her own lands with that lady in tow. So, yeah, they've gone for a better life and left me behind. But, yeah, it does sort of hint that there might be another island or another isle. So that's pretty darn cool. I kind of liked this as a story and I liked it as a mission. So now I can just use my sort of, like, fairy stone to get back to Grand, Sis, or no, Grand Soren and offload all my gains. So we did pick up some nice items here, people. So, yeah, pretty cool. I can put my gear back on. Lovely. Awesome. Let's just get properly dressed. Cool. And I think we're good to pretty much end off here, people. But yeah, so let's just have a look how much my uh, strength goes up by. Yeah, actually, there's no point in upgrading that uh, armor or that uniform. I'm, I'm actually pretty OP with this stuff at the moment, but I do need to... I want to find better gear. I do like the way it looks, but it would be nice to be able to customize it a bit more and maybe merge armor sets to make stuff even better. It's like if I could merge this into one of those sort of all-in-one outfits. That'd be pretty darn cool. But there we are. That's what it is. Until next time, goodbye, people. Hope you're enjoying this series. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.